Alright, I gotta stop this real quick. Alright, so uh, maybe you know already or you follow in the past um, Mixcloud.com. Um, that's where I've been putting DJ mixes up periodically over the last two or three years. Um, kind of go through periods like now it's summer, I'm not really as inclined to like go through the process of you know doing all that stuff like uh, I had like a bunch of songs and a bunch of records in the past that I really wanted to get out and put on mixes and you know there's like probably like four or five on there that are full on like mixes like DJ mixes non-stop with like you know blends and like some like kind of like beat chopping and stuff like that and it takes a lot of time doing it the way I did it like using like garage band and then just like hooking up like a little CD player, uh, CDJ, or a turntable, uh, just one at a time usually, and then trying to like get the beats on, because I, I wasn't using like a, a tractor or like the virtual DJ to do the mixes. I have virtual DJ and I have some other programs, I've tried getting freeware over the years, trying different stuff. They're all really cool. Um, if you got like the interface for them, I really am not like a fan of using a mouse to click and do that stuff. I like to either use my hands or just like put the wave files or the tracks up and just like by ear or you know tap in and see what the tempos are and get them right and do it um, as opposed to messing around clicking on like little buttons and doing all that stuff it just it just isn't fun you know it's okay if you want to listen to tracks and stuff and then you just hit the sync and then let them blend and you kind of get an idea where you want to do your mixes when you're prepping and stuff like that and so, I mean, I'm not hating on that. I just, like, the aspect of it, like, from, like, where I came from, what brought me into wanting to DJ was, like, getting my hands on turntables and, like, you know, peeking through records and, like, uh, I mean, you know, you can't, you can't replace that. It's the same thing, like, looking at comic books. Like, you know, you can be, like, it's dorky kind of or whatever for some people you know like video games or whatever they all think it's a waste of time rot your mind all that it's just like it's just like visually stimulating you know it's like some people i mean you can learn tons of stuff from comic books tons of stuff from video games tons of stuff you can you can okay it's possible like you might not learn like the dewey decimal system by playing call of duty that's understandable i mean everything in moderation blah 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 but back to like the actual like the <laughs> kind of digress you know, going so far away from DJ and stuff but it's like you know ultimately it, it all kind of intertwines because I mean like it just like the example I give is like even if a game has really good music unless it's like something that's like quest driven kind of you eventually probably like sports titles like me or even like you know people who play a lot of GTA got anyone coming out stuff like that you kind of like being able to just put on your own music and turn that up louder over like you know, like hearing the same commentary all the time, or if you're playing fighting games and stuff like that, you're just chilling. I mean, it's like people play cards. Some people like to play cards, some people like to play Monopoly, some people like to play, you know, Scrabble, whatever. It's like, we're just friends, whatever. I mean, it's all the same thing. It's just about what kind of, like, game you like to play, you know. It's like, I mean, like, you play, like, uh, Pro Evo or FIFA. It's, like, for me, like, when you're playing with against, like, another person that's, like, kind of on your level, or even way better than you, which you can do, Especially with Pro Evo, like you put Pro Evo up on like uh, Superstar, like even the AI in that is very, very difficult. I mean, to break down, to like you know even deke out, uh, just to get enough shots on net, you could totally take an overpowered team and still struggle with breaking down defenses. And it's very, it's very good for that. Um, and with like, uh, so I guess that's the, that's kind of like I just wanted to clarify with like the DJ thing, like uh, you know. That, that stuff's up there. Um, this is kind of like I was just going to pick out some stuff that I like kind of this summer um, and try to do it as quickly as possible, like, uh, you know, that I've been checking out. Uh, I got back into playing a little Pro Evo. It's cool. Um, I think I'm probably going to take a break of Siesta from that uh, for a while just because there's, there's no competition just playing the computer. I kind of got to see what, you know, got my computer up to spec or the computer I was using up to spec to run some games and I'm pretty impressed with the amount I paid for it. It was cheaper than buying an Xbox for the parts I got. I just reinstalled them, uh, updated the OS, everything, and I was able to play Pro Evo smoothly. I uh, played, let's see, Dark Souls, like um, some other shit that was like Resident Evil 5. You know, so I mean, 
for me, uh, that was kind of like a small victory, even if you had to play at a lower resolution uh, to get games like Trials to run and stuff like that. But, it's, you know, it's, it's a nice feeling knowing that, like, you know, that you're not necessarily, you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a PS3 uh, to do all that stuff. And the same thing with DJing, you know, it's like I've been using the same laptop to do all my music production for years. I mean, this is it, you know, it, the screen doesn't work. And, I mean, I'd like to upgrade it, yet at the same time, for what that is, it's fine. Like, you know, maybe get, you know, there's some other things in my life I'd like to upgrade, like, you know, where I'm living, uh, you know, traveling, doing stuff, seeing people, you know, getting a better education, just, like, enjoying life. Um, so that's not really a huge priority um, right now with games and stuff like that. Um, but uh, in lieu of like any new releases or remixes uh, which you can usually find at soundcloud.com spawns or soundcloud.com chatterboy uh, chatterboy is more like uh, mashups and where I change the beat remixes uh, where I just take a different beat and kind of just do them all together like they were a mix they, like there was a mix where I just changed the beats out with different acapellas and stuff like that not a huge amount of in production stuff and I just was like, you know, it'd probably, probably be a little bit more palatable to people because I'm not like a huge name DJ where it's like, it's going to be on the top of any kind of charts for anything. So I just was like, I'll just break them up, tag them individually, put them on, mix, or on SoundCloud, different profile, um, you know, definitely put in who produces what, who the artists are. Um, you know, I got a mix up on here. It was supposed to be like a video response to some DJs that did like a pod, like a like a dubstep mix a while back and I really am having trouble finding like their information because uh, I downloaded it a long time ago and then I just it's like I got these cool acapellas I want to see how they sound on, and I like the way it sounds so um, that stuff I usually listen to that stuff when I'm walking around uh, it gets me kind of hyped up my new remixes um, here's some stuff and I kind of like kind of jumping around with it but this is from uh disco band uh, disco panda he's got a channel on here um i'm subscribed so if you need to find him just put in disco panda but he puts up like this kind of stuff yeah. uh this is a uh, trip holiday So, among other things, um, you know, I just try to, you know, it's like I like having dialogue with people about that stuff and, uh, you know, try to pay it forward for other people that make music, whether they're big or small, you know, like popular or unpopular, whatever, but just like, you know, if you ever have questions about production, you're interested in how I do things, feel free to ask, uh, shoot me a response or comment or inbox me. Um, also about remixing artists on YouTube who put up you want that you maybe like to sing you want to do like a cover of somebody you like uh, just shoot something my way that you want maybe want to hear kind of chopped up into like a electro sound or something like that or maybe just have some fun with something I don't know um, that's about it uh, so thanks for listening and watching and uh, I'll let you know when there's some uh, some more stuff coming out. 